much. Adi Megu. Ema na aga di wanya gaka tiro. Gabazo. Ema na enyo aha gobage. Ok, si kuye. You need to be very careful. Extremely careful about Mazo Kafo. He has just begun. You have to buckle up. Work very hard. If you know you are going to sit on the throne of your fathers. So, what do you advise me to do? You know that some of our elders are very gullible and fickle minded. If you relax a minute, your brother, Megide, will move and buy them over. Mm -mm. Won't allow that. So you need to move as fast as you can to make sure that majority of them are in your camp. You have a powerful point there. It's a good idea. Masibem, I want to assure you of one thing. That once I ascend the throne, I must make you the owner of this kingdom. I must do that. Thank you very much. Adimegu. I know you are a man of your words. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. As for the battle, we have won it. But I want to remind you one thing. It is not over till it is over. I want you to go and see Maziloka and Mazume. I know they will understand you. Thank you very much. I'll go and do as you have advised me. Thank Good. you. Good. Uh, you're welcome, Major. Thank you. Now, listen very carefully. The dog says that uh, the reason why he normally barks at visitors is to prevent them from barking at him first. Eh? Your brother I know, Odimego, could do anything possible to take that throne from you. And you know that throne is a bad You know that? So, you must be strong and determined in fighting for your bad rights. Because any sign of weakness for you, he will capitalize on it and take over the throne from you. So, you must be strong and determined, very strong and determined in claiming your bad right. You see, it was uh, your father's wish that uh, you succeed. And uh, it was the night after the day he informed us that uh, he had the intention of declaring you the head to the throne, that he was dead, he was killed, or he died. And he has even gone as far as contacting the Zembo. To come on the day you will return from Ezema, that he will make the announcement officially. It was in that morning that he died, unfortunately passed on. So, you have to fight for your rights. You have to fight for your bad rights. Your father will be very happy in the land of the spirit to see you. So, do your best to make him proud. Please. Thank you. I'm very grateful. I've said it with very determined. Very determined to make your father proud. I have heard you. Thank you very much. Um, there is something you said. Oh, oh, oh you are yeah. going to show me. Yeah, I'm coming.
Are you going out? I'm talking to you. You mean your father said you should give these things to me? <laughs> Mazi Luka. You know, my father is a nice man. Yes. And um, he's, he, he, he said I should tell you that um, he would be coming to see you soon. <laughs> tell him. And that I should be with him. Right. Okay, we will be leaving now. It is a serious matter that must not be compromised or taken lightly. Elders, we must follow tradition. Now let me ask you all. What did our um, tradition say about issues like this? It is the birthright of the first son of the Igwe period. And that is where I stand. Mazio can. I thank you very much for your sermon. Now, if you are talking about tradition, Falan, what does Megiden know about the tradition? A man who lived all his life in another man's land. Now that he just returned, you are telling us to hand over the most sacred position of the entire Asia, my kingdom, to a total stranger. Mazokan, are you out of your mind? Or should I say you need your head examined? In fact, if you don't know what to say, sit down, you shut up your mouth. Shut it up! Mazibekwe, you are asking me to shut up my mouth? Yes! Why? And if, since I've said so, go I said you should shut up! As if you If you point that thing at me again, I will deal with you mercilessly. <laughs> you can't do anything. You can't do more than a hanging towel. You can't do anything! Now let me remind you, the day the tiger sees a hunter with a gun, he takes to his ear. You are a coward! You are a coward! Yes, I said you are a coward! It is your father that is a coward! My father, coward! Yes, your father! I will use this as a coward! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! 
listen, listen. What has come over over both of you? Now nah, this came your walk. It's okay. What is wrong with both of you? I, 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 when you have a very important, very crucial issue on how to how to how to forge ahead in this kingdom on the way forward with the demise of our king and all you do here is just for a fight. Huh? Elders. You call us elders. How would you react if you find your children behaving this this same way? Around nonsense. For this rubbish has to stop, we must continue and conclude what brought us here. Well, let me remind us that before our uh, evil died, he would have died. He was man enough to name his successor. It is true. And he mentioned Megide. To be his successor. It was not officially made public, neither was Yezumba consulted. But everybody knew that that was his last wish. However, if there is any dissenting voices, as far as this matter is concerned, in this palace, then we will have to still consult Yezumba, whose duty it is to relate with the, the gods tell us the way forward. Um, I support uh, what the world has just said. Because it is obvious that this cabinet is divided. Obvious that we are divided. So let's call us them. Yes. Let the SMO decide who becomes our king. Period. Um, I've heard what you said. But I'd like to remind you that it's not within my powers alone to decide who becomes the next king of the Ezema kingdom. However, the Ezema has uh, been asked to consult the oracle who will tell us what the gods say about this matter. Oh, well, I know the Ezema has been mandated to consult the oracle. But at the end of the day, it is the cabinet members who will choose who to come from next Yes, even when the choice has been made, the SMO still has a vital role to play here, in that he is the first person that's going to uh, um, perform the rituals that will ascertain the person's acceptability of this same person or fellow before the gods before he will be crowned. So no matter how you look at it, Ezemo is there. This is the tradition. So we better let him decide. Okay. I've heard what you said, Awale. I've heard it. All right, man. Customs and traditions. When the truth is suppressed, there must be a clear case of inducement. These arguments shouldn't have come if you have held, held upon the truth and followed the traditions of our forefathers. It is only suppression that promotes injustice. However, the monkey's apple should not be changed to the tiger's apple simply because the tiger is stronger. Justice demands that honor should be given to whoever is irrespective of 
be social status. There is only one heir apparent to the throne of Ezema Kingdom. And this heir is Megidi Adiroma. God's housekeeper. I have always known <laughs> and believed that whatever happens, the truth shall always prevail. That's true. Exactly. You can hide the truth yes. and subdue it, but you cannot bury it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it must always come to light. <laughs> Do you know that at the time I was afraid that uh, Odimegu and his cohorts have succeeded in, in taking over the truth? <laughs> that is because you don't well, one thing you felt to remember that uh, there will always be toilet, toilet of hope, even in the uh, face of hopelessness. And a positive, uh, a man with a positive endurance will always have cause to smile at the end. <laughs> Just like uh, Megan is now smiling. Mm. Yes. Huh? Mm. Oh, well, uh, Thank you so much. The prince himself. <laughs> the king in the making. Ah, oh, well, uh, is it making that? Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Joe Akapo. Hmm? Make that. I'm grateful to all of you eh? for your support and for standing up for the truth, even when it mattered most. <laughs> Thank you very no, much. Don't mention that. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, you should now start preparing for your coronation and first of all. Exactly. That is very important. Because you'll be having your first of all on the day of your coronation. And you should start preparing now. Because uh, they say a stitch in time saves nine. And for the coronation and all that, yes. uh, and of Fala, uh, Owele will sponsor the entire thing. So I want everything to be in place, especially their food and drinks, okay? Go now. Elders, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Where is His Majesty? He should be in the throne room. Uh, mm.
Was just crown king. He dies all of a sudden, blood starts gushing out of his eyes. Mysterious. Dead, you are wicked, very wicked. Look at the beginning. A gentleman to the court, a peaceful man to the court, a man who took care of all members of his family. He's only in the family. Everybody. Everybody is a mystery. Dead, you are wicked, very wicked. You don't know how to kill. You killed the wrong people. Eh? This is the moral thing. We must not take chances. We must find out the root cause of this. We must we mustn't fold our hands and watch it happen again. We must take it to the root of what we must. We must We must We must Death my boss I can see. We do. Wherever you go, death, we pursue you. You will make a revolution. The gods are silent, but I can see a great dark cloud of rage of the gods hovering over the kingdom. And in due course, the gods will fight for justice. Is it did you say? Rage of cloud over the kingdom. Yes. So what do we do? At the fight is not yours, but of the gods. So go home. Go home. Go home. Thank you. Thank you. Go home. I know that what happened is not ordinary. But I want you people to look unto God. And there this is 40 in 42. It's your fault. <laughs> the long claws of wicked fate have turned my heart into pieces. It is okay. Stop crying. God knows everything. Don't worry, Mama. God will surely reward the wicked. It's okay. Adimegu, okay. Adimegu. Right now, you do not have any roadblock on your way to ascend the throne of your fathers. <laughs> hey, imagine me, Odumegu. I 
having soap entering my eyes in the midst of water. Impossible. Megide was a stubborn idiot and he got exactly what he deserved. See, he wasn't only stubborn. He was as well stupid to have challenged me to a battle. And later eh? did he know that a fly that dances acrobatic in front of a spider's web should be wary of a spider's anger. Oh, <laughs> he wanted to be king of Eziama. <laughs> but he's now a king in the, in the land, land of, of the, the dead. dead. <laughs> eh? Would you offer Tony that's me. I have come to fulfill my own request, my part of the bargain. That if you achieved my desire, I will present a goat. Oh, that's a goat here. That's okay. I thank you very much. That's me. I thank you. Address me to a problem. The problem. Good morning, Your Highness. Put it where you are. Royal Highness. Say it. Good morning, Your Royal Highness. Where is Jane? I sent her to buy something for me. Anyway, I came to inform you that all of you are going to pack away your things to behind the building, behind the palace, while they bring everything belonging to me inside this palace. No, I, I... There is no bet here. Nobody is betting anything here. Is that clear? What will you get? Will you say, well now? Well now! Jima! You're going to help this woman to pack away everything belonging to her back to the quarters, bright quarters, away from this palace. Then bring everything belonging to me inside this palace. Is that clear? Begin immediately. Eh? Enjoy what you need. Enjoy what you need.
I went to the main building and I was told uh, you are no longer there. Eh? What happened? Now you got for Yes. Odimegu moved us from the main house to, to his own house and moved into the main house. Is that so? Hey. Mm. Huh? Odimegu. 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 Huh. Anyway, don't worry. Hmm? Everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. I don't understand the kind of person Odimegu is. I can't understand at all. Eh? Instead of coming down and facing the problem at hand, he's going around the whole town claiming to be the king, imposing as the king. Imposing hmm? as the king. You need to see how he treats us like outcasts. He doesn't even consider my condition. I'm not surprised because the Odimegu I know is a man without conscience. He's a man without conscience. I fear for his Yama kingdom if he becomes the king, if the gods allow him to be the king. I really fear him. Ah. By the way, uh, where is the princess? She went to call her brother on the phone. You said her brother? Yes, and I. Oh. So you have a son? Yes, and I. I have a son who is in the university. Ah. <sighs> oh. But. Why, 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 why didn't you mention his name before? Why has his name not been mentioned in this palace? Now you careful. When we came back from Amaze, my husband started having all kinds of nightmares. One night. Another bad dream? 
another nightmare. Yeah. This time, it is about our son. Our son? Oh my God. What's the meaning of all these nightmares all the time? Listen. From now on, we have to watch our steps. We have to be careful. I don't want anybody to speak anything concerning our son until I am convinced that everything is all right. It's okay. I'll tell Jane in the morning. Thank you. So, that is why we've not mentioned the word about him. But well, very soon he will come home. The most distinguished elders of Asiama Kingdom, I greet you. We know that this meeting is impromptu and somewhat unusual because it has not been too long our king, Megide, joined his ancestors. But it's a simple act of expediency. For a very long time now, Eziama has been without a king. And the people are complaining. You see, life is like a bicycle. For you to keep balance, you have to keep moving. That is why we decided to call this meeting to appeal to the royal family who are still mourning and also to inform our elders that it is time for our new king, Odimegu, to ascend the throne of his fathers. Bam. Bam. <coughs> of Ozo. Oh, yes. My people, I greet you all. Thank you. My people, you've spoken well. Thank you very much. I agree with you that uh, the German kingdom urgently requires a leader. Yes. But I must say that Prince Odimegu cannot be our king. Mazoka, are you here? What are you saying? What? I'm saying that Prince Odimegu cannot be our king. Why? Okay, all right. Um, it's okay. Um, the truth is that Prince Odumegu here is the rightful heir to the throne. So, traditionally, you should assume the position of the king of this community. <laughs> but each year, Okafo thinks otherwise. Maybe he has a good reason. What we should do now is to ask him to tell us what reasons he has that Odumegu should not be the king. Let him tell us. My people, I'm saying that Prince Odumegu cannot be our king. Yeah. Tell us why. Our late king, Megide Adoma Oboli. And he saw who is the rightful heir to the truth. It's a lie. Open lie. It's a lie. Open lie. God. Tell Jane to call her brother. Let's see how you're going to manufacture the son. Exactly. Uh, hmm? You forgot to need you. To accord You forgot to need Let's see how you become a magician. That's hmm? one thing. Hey! Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? My 
My name is Afame Funa Ipoli, son of late Igwe Megide Adiroma Ipoli. So what I was saying? Oh, my name, man. Nothing will happen to your son. Ajo Majo. Mbamu. Mbamu. I refuse. He will go there now and sit and they will kill him the way they killed his father. Oh. You people think I do not know that my husband's death was not natural. My son will not sit there and die. No. It will not happen. Calm down, Chugo. Please, calm down. What will happen to your son? Martin, please. When my husband died, what did you people do? Did you bring him back? The gods of our ancestors will ensure that nothing happens. No evil, no harm befalls us. And besides, it is for the good of all of us that we desire he becomes the king. And it might turn really bad for this kingdom if Odimu becomes the king. <laughs> Mother, I understand your feelings towards what happened to Father, but I'm a man and I cannot run away from my responsibility. Afam, what are you talking about? Do you want to accept the offer? Mother, if it's my destiny, so be it. Nothing will happen to our farm. Nothing. Jin, Iyawotam. Iyawotam. these people are not trying to play a fast one on me. How come I never knew Megide had a son? How come I never knew? I am as surprised as you are. But if you take a closer look at that boy, that boy has a near perfect picture of Megide. That boy should be Megide's son. Incredible. Unbelievable. Do you know I met that boy Afam in the university when my son Chike got admission and I went to visit him. Two of them were cosmates. In fact, they took their final exams, their degree exams, a couple of days ago. Wow. Well, that boy is the only thing standing on your way to the throne. No. I won't allow it. I will not. Such a small boy. To stand on my way? No. Then, what are you going to do? I will cancel his birth certificate. No. I remember, no. be. I will send him to where I sent his father. I disagree with you, I said. Now, 
if you ever kill that boy and become the king of Ezema kingdom, the entire kingdom will point accusing fingers on you. And consequently, they might revolt against you. Then what do I do? What do I do? Because I cannot allow that boy to take what I've struggled for years to have. I will not. Well, Eat your fault on AJ. For now, I don't know. But I suggest we sleep over it. Eat your fault at on AJ. Eat your fault on AJ. Actually, life could really be funny sometimes. I can't believe that after all these years at school, we've been sleeping and waking up in one roof, under one roof, without knowing that we are brothers. My brother, I tell you, I tell you, it's funny. I mean, sometimes life events just know how to mock and mask human foresight. Honestly. Afam, funny enough, do you know all the way I used to call Chiki that were virtually together when, when he was at home? I didn't even know that the person he was talking to was my own brother. <laughs> Remember that time, whenever he was on holidays, he would be talking about Chike in Amanze then. Mm. <laughs> uh. Mom, <clears throat> remember when I told you I lost my school fees at my phone? Mm -hmm. You never asked me how I scaled through. Hell, oh, my son, how did you do it? Chike here. Yes, I mean, Chike emptied his bank account and borrowed 10,000 naira to help you pay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you did all that. I just wish everyone in this palace would be like Chiki. I'm sure the entire kingdom would be paradise. No, of course, of course. <laughs> thank, you. Oh! thank you. My brother. Yeah, I was helping me write some. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are here for what we we'll have at hand, the coronation, yes, right? Yes. Good. Um, well, the prince, like you're panicking. Rest assured, you have my hundred percent support. What else can we say? It depends on what you want to say. You are such a wonderful and nice person. Eh? Such a wonderful and nice person. Okay, don't blow me out of a bunch of them. Oh, well, honestly, it's not ought to give you many more titles for all the things you are doing in this kingdom. It's your kingdom. I think I really have enough titles. No, no, no. I think it's your kingdom is right. Uh, you have outdone all the titles given to you. So we are thinking of finding a, 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 
a title that's defeating to your present exploits. Uh, so, uh, what, what do I offer you? I mean, name your brand. Uh, you know, man. Uh, is that? Get me out, Lisa, here. Brand new champagne. Adimegu, I think I've gotten an idea of what you should do. What is it? We shall go back to Dene. I'm very sure he knows exactly what to do. Are you sure? Yes. Why not? When we get there, you will understand. It's all right. It's all right. Would you afford that energy? Would you afford that energy? My guys. My guys is. <laughs> Harry. You are looking very good. Thank you, Highness. You said you live in the city. Yes, Your Highness. Anybody who sees you will know that you're doing very well. What's with our farm? I know he must have finished from school right now. Yes, he has graduated, but he went out to see some friends. Oh, wonderful. Um, Jimmy, guess what I put for you? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Let me put the case and I'm already setting up for you. Now you have a phone, a complete phone. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jane. Jane. You did not even offer him anything. Mommy doesn't want anything. Don't worry, ma. You know I didn't come with my car. Maybe someone else. You have a car? Exactly, I have a car. Wow. <laughs> so when next I come, I will spend some time with you. Jane. Jane. Ma? You, you will see him off now. Is that right? Mommy, let me see him off. Let's go. My regards to your family. Thank you, ma. I think that Mama will need you at home to do something for her. She doesn't need me. I've done everything. I understand how you feel. But at least now that you have a phone, we can talk very often. Cheer up now. You call me. Yes, I'll call as soon as I get to the city. My father has a We have been doing it. I trust you are doing wonders. Before I did it, you have been doing wonders. You have been doing it before. 
Hey, me, man. Just do it exactly the way I instructed you. Okay. And you shall see what is going to happen. Okay. But make sure another hand touches it. I'll, I'll do that. Do you understand? I'll do that. Thank you very much. It's done. Thank you. Okay. you can now. Yes, we also want to know the things you have already put in place and the capacity you want us to function as elders on that day so that everything will go smoothly. <laughs> oh, my elders, I thank you very much for your support. And I also thank you for your efforts towards my coronation and Ofala. Um, but I must tell you, I am no longer interested in the throne of Ezyama. What? I see. Are you no more interested on the throne no. of Ezyama? You, you can't say that. You are the head ah. to the throne. Yeah. Afam. What happened? I thought you said you have um, accepted the offer to be the king. Why are you now changing your mind? Mom, yes, I did accept to take up the mantle of leadership to rule my people. In that same voice, I am saying I am no longer interested. Simple as that. Alpha. Yes. You cannot back out. The coronation and the fall is in four days. The people are waiting to embrace their new king. You can't disappoint them. Exactly. You cannot disappoint them. The news is everywhere in the whole kingdom. And they are looking forward to the side. Please. Please. Don't turn your back on them. My son, the throne of Isiama Kingdom is the throne of your father. And I know that your father will be happy if you take over from where he stopped. Mom, why are you disturbing me? No, no, seriously, why are you people disturbing me to this extent? Why? Why? No, to be king of Isiama or not to be king, it's my choice, not anybody's choice. Okay? I said I'm no longer interested. What is it now? You're the head of the throne. What's the problem? Look, last time I checked on Kodumegu, desperately wanted to sit on that throne. Why don't I give him that opportunity? What is it? Why me? Why are you disturbing me now? Ah! Look, I said I'm no longer interested. That's it. You should give my space. Ah! I can't believe this. It's very strange. It's very strange that this man has to protect the truth. Four days to If we made beer and that boy is our only hope. That boy is our only hope. The worst thing that will happen to this kingdom is if Odumegu becomes the king. So what do we do? We can't allow this to happen. What possibly can we do? What possibly? You had him yourself. Eh? And I don't think it will change. Because the conviction his eyes will not allow him to change. It's serious. It's very serious. Um Gav. How about Owele? Owele? Yes. Yes, Owele. Look, I'm having this feeling that if we will talk to him, he may change his mind. Oh, well.
Nduka. Please, where's uncle? He's not around. He went out. Can you tell him I came around to see him? Alright, I'll tell him when he comes back. Has the prince been able to tell anybody what the problem is? Nothing, exactly. Nothing. And this is strange. Very strange indeed. Very strange indeed, Well, Yes, because I do not know what the reason is, or the reasons are, why he should uh, reject his birthright. I don't think I, there's any reason for that. Also, I'd come out openly to pledge my full support, financially and otherwise. Four days to the coronation of the father. Huh? Or does he want this kingdom to remain like this, without, 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 without a leader? That's the question everybody's asking. It's very strange. Um, I know Anizila is the head that wears the crown, but I'm confident on that you have the intelligence and wisdom to rule a kingdom like this, young. You know, in, in four days' time, our people expect you to be their next king. Do you, do you really want to disappoint them? Chike, save your sermon. No, seriously, save it. Why do you keep disturbing me for no just cause? Tell me. And why are you hell-bent on making me change my mind? Listen, mister, I've made up my mind, okay? I don't want to become king. Is that a crime? Is it? Actually, that is not a crime. Then what? But why the sudden change of mind? You know, after you had given them who I hope that you are going to be their king. I mean, somehow... Hey, mister, look. I'm going to my room. It's obvious you don't have anything. Afa. Afa. Honestly, I don't know why Afa must change suddenly like this. I mean, something must be wrong somewhere, but I cannot place my hand on it. I don't understand all those things. You know, he was showing interest, you know, at becoming the king. But all of a sudden, I... I don't know. Besides, he has been very moody all day. I don't know. There, maybe there's something wrong. Well, let's just keep watching him. He might still change his mind. Maybe he doesn't want to tell anybody his reasons for all his things. I hope so. Let's just watch and see. This is just a, a huge surprise. I must tell you. I'm telling you, those boys of Ibai Jele, eh? Forget them, they were, too, they were just sensational, I'm telling you. But honestly, I, that's a very good um, traditional music, but I, I don't think it was proper for you to tell them that you want to join the, 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 the whatever. Why? Ah, didn't you hear what they said to you? They said they, they were preparing for your coronation and the father. You needed to see the look on their faces when you said you wanted to join them. Actually, when you said when you said when you said you really wanted to join them, come on, man, you shouldn't have said that to them. Ah, Afam, listen, you are a few hours away from becoming the evil of this kingdom, and it's high time you started thinking like one. Hey, can, can, you, can you slow down? Slow down, okay? Now leave the house, okay? Bye, Afam. You will never, ever, ever, ever be the evil of this kingdom. No, 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 just, just hold on. You better stop this joke of yours because it's not funny at all. You think I'm joking? Now you watch how funny this joke gets.
Ask for him. Ask for him. What is wrong with you? Are you serious? Yes. You mean he called you by himself and told you that? When I got home last night, I was told he was looking for me. And I was wondering why was he looking for me. Only for him to come this morning and give me the wonderful news. <laughs> I think I told you that Udene can do unimaginable. You said it, you said it, you said it. You said it. In fact, he is the greatest of them all. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey. What is it? I am somehow worried by the condition he gave me about this throne. I'm worried. I'm worried. I think I understand it. He said, if you want your reign to last, you must do exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. Because you should understand that if there is no pain, there will be no gain. I think you are correct. Age of Attorney Age of Attorney Are you sure you don't feel like having it on me? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Well, I'm fine. I'm good. Thank you. All right, um, that brings me to the issue where I actually asked you to come over. Okay. Um, what's the problem and what made you change your mind about this throne issue? Well, I want to thank you for your support so far in everything. You are indeed a noble man. Thank you so much. Again, I have thought about it and I've come to the conclusion that being the king of Iziyama is not the best thing for me right now. I mean, I'm still a young man. I just finished school. I have things to achieve. I, I want to have another degree, you know. Achieve other things as a young man other than becoming king of Iziyama kingdom. So that is not in my scale of priorities right now, sir. My dear young man, what can be more noble than you becoming the king of Iziyama kingdom? What? With due respect, Owele, I have made up my mind. Seriously. Anyway, um, Prince, I would like you to go back home and sleep over this issue. In fact, ponder over it. And uh, let's discuss it later. Okay? I've heard you, sir, and I have to be on my way down. Okay. So, all the best. Is he not in his room? He's not. Ever since he came back from Owele's compound, we've not set eyes on him. Are you sure he's not sleeping? Did you check his room? Of course he has not eaten since now. I
do you mean? What am I doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? What are you doing here? Mama is looking for you. Uh, tell her to wait now. Mama busy. said I should come and bring it. What is wrong with you? Why are you disturbing me? What is this now? Can't you see I'm busy? What is it? Huh? Ah. I found your mother. I leave me alone. Hey, right on, right on. when I saw him. Are you serious? Uh-uh. That's chicken now. My God. My God. What is wrong with that family? Eh? His behavior lately has been so strange. Mama, what surprises me is the passion he has for the music. Once he's there with his group, he doesn't listen to anybody anymore. Which group are you talking about? The Ibujele group, of course, Mama. As a matter of fact, he's their leader right now. What? Why are you asking that kind of question? No, nothing more. I just want to know how you are. I'm fine. Good. We were called here because uh, you said there is something you want to inform us about. So we are waiting to hear from you. My elders are greeting. Thank you very much. I did call up on you to tell you something very important. There's no need to do dialing. I'll just go straight to the point. Sorry, I'm not interested in the throne anymore. Okay. Meaning I no longer want to become king. Prince Afam, are you sure of what you are telling us? My decision to withdraw from the throne is true and final. To 
make sure that that boy doesn't become the hero. But after he turns his back on the throne, if you ascend the throne, you will generate so much hatred and enemies, within and outside the kingdom. If you want your reign to be peaceful and last long as king of his own kingdom, you must let another ascend the throne first. to do with um, succession to the throne. According to our tradition, I am the uh, uh, person qualified to climb the throne. But on second thought, I said we could still do it the other way around. You see, in the course of my traversing other kingdoms, palaces, I found out that it would be proper to put in that throne somebody who is well educated and financially endowed. I have looked around the whole of our kingdom, Asiama Kingdom, and found nobody as qualified as you are to clinch that position. <laughs> That's uh, what I'm presenting to you. Please. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Prince Odumil. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think I'm ready to be king. I prefer the way I am. <laughs> no, well, uh, no. You see, like I said earlier, you are the most educated and most endowed financially. What is lacking now is just power that you don't have. Once you have that power, you become a complete man power. So are you by any chance asking me to, to buy, the, buy the throne? <laughs> no, well, eh? no, well, eh? uh, but um, if there's any uh, financial assistance, it will be accepted. You see, what is important to me is to have this power given to you. It's important for you to have power. Yeah, uh, you, you, you speak so much in riddle. Uh, why don't you open up? How do you mean? Oh, come okay. on, let me know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. What I'm saying is, is, is like this. If, for example, you clinch this power I'm talking about, and make me your own, oh, no. deputy, your second in command. Yes. I would have become part of the leadership. Uh, you, you carry me along. We move on in. 
or the leadership, uh, uh, you know, of our kingdom, Ezema. Yeah. Oh, I was taking my back indeed then. Uh, <laughs> you know, what I'll do is to ask you to give me time. Let me sleep over it. Okay. Oh, well, uh, even if it takes you up to a week, we think about it. There's no pressure. Uh, take your time. The important thing is that at the end of the day, you will accept the offer. Uh, okay, so I've heard you. Okay. Uh, you. I'll get back to, to you. Okay. Uh, thank you once again nice for answering my call. Mm. Thank you. In fact, um, I tried to tell him that I'm not interested. He was like trying to persuade me. This is hard to believe. Knowing how desperate that man has been to sit on that throne, it's unbelievable. I'm quite surprised myself. And uh, what did you tell him? I, I told him that he has to when the pressure was 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 getting you know you know more serious, I told him to, to give me time to to sleep over it. 
So what do you think? Well, I think uh, I think it is much better you being on that throne, provided it shall set over the gods. I can't imagine Odumegu being the king, even for one day. Not even for one day. Hmm. I can see you are enjoying this food. Of course I am. <laughs> um, if you finish eating and the food is not enough, please let me know. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Food I served you. Are you not hungry? All right, eat. Eat. It's a happy moment, I must say. And without missing words, I decided to let it be by inviting you to come over so that we appreciate you for what you are to us. Having been very steadfast, having been efficient, and having been very close to the heart of this family, we decided to lift you to the post of Ono. I don't know if you don't mind, can you close your eyes? Close my eyes? Yes. Are, they, are you sure they're closed? Tightly closed. Open your, open your eyes. What do you see? Ah. Igwe. A car key? Yes, it belongs to you. The car is neatly parked out there. Sir, sir, you're driving with a car. Hey! Living here, you're, you're driving away with the cake. <laughs> That's my total appreciation for what you had to me. Igwe, 
They come for me. Not a little more. Hey! Hold your phone. Hold your phone. Hold your phone. Hey! Hold your phone now. Hold your phone. Hi! what I heard today. Can you? What you heard today? What is it that The Igwe bought a brand new car huh? in Tui for the Wego. A brand new car? <laughs> a brand new car. For the Wego? Oh ho! Mm. So, after making with the Wego, do you know who? He bought a new car. See, I've been suspecting that uh, there's something going on between two of them for some time now. Oh, I said it. Huh? Something going on between two of them. Yes. They should have. Ah, but they should have told us that uh, the, the throne of Ezama Kingdom is now for sale. Anyway, I've already said it before that I will never keep a part of that cabinet. I will never be a part of that cabinet as far as Udumegu is a member. Never! In that cabinet, with Udumegu as you know. So what they are now doing with Asia Kingdom is thread by pattern. Mm, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. With ego, with ego. Our people say that when someone outgrows drinking of coconut water, he moves up to drinking palm wine. <laughs> My son Henry here told me that he's ready to find his missing rib, his heart drop, woman of his heart. I assured him I will help him to locate one. Happily, he has come to notify me that that lady of his dream, he has found her. And happy enough, that woman is from this family. I have come with him to seek the hand of your daughter, Jane, in marriage. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Man. Uh, your son is here, yeah? Yes. Come here, you're equally welcome. Man. Thank you, Hans. Uh, what do you do for a living here? I am a businessman. Business? Businessman? What kind of business? I am into timber business. Timber? The timber? Do you cut timber? Do you package timber? Do you export or import timber? Uh, <laughs> Well, I am an exporter of timber and I have the branches of my business in many countries such as um, Brazil, China and um, South Africa. <laughs> Is that so? You know why I asked you that question? Uh, we just want to make sure that whoever of six the hand of our daughter in marriage will be able to take good care of her. But that's all. Uh, you're welcome, eh? You're welcome. No, no. No. Um. Mm -hmm. Um. Where would you get? Yes, Go and call Niger. Tell her to bring Jane along, eh? Uh, in your mind. In my own time, I never rested until I found, as you put it, this is a missing ring. I can get for you. I can get I can get it. I can get it. Yeah. Well, you tell me that.
Then I just fucked up. Mm -hmm. Then the No, no. No, no. No, no. Jay, this young man called uh, Harry uh, came here seeking your hand in marriage. Uh, we want to ask, uh, do you know him? Yes, no. No. <laughs> okay. Um, do you accept him as your future husband? Kamalu kwa nyo bamba ya. Yes, uncle, you can go ahead with the drinks. Mazo Kafu. I really know how you feel about my choosing Mazo Kimegu as you know of his kingdom in preference to other senior uh, cabinet members. And I also know that you are aware between the standoff, I mean, standoff between I and the said of Kimegu. I did what I did to assuage him. And I also felt that this sacrifice is something you could do for me as a friend, at least not to hit up the polity. I know all this. Therefore, I, I oblige you to please come back, return to status quo as a cabinet member, which I've always been. Um, Surely, I, I know you are you are aggrieved, man. But I promise to make it up to you. Um, I'll find you. What was that? Um, well, I'll have. I'll try to put the matter behind me. That was splendid. Wonderful. I wonder what I could have done without someone like you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, well, Igwe. Uh, I hope you will have a look also my bad man. Which is more I should have offered you something earlier. Oh, 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 do I prefer you? No, Mazi. Mazi, you're careful. If you have called him, that would do. Okay. Uh, thank you. Igwe. Mm. Mazi, you're careful. Let me get this. and listen to your father. Listen to what your father has to say. Come and sit down. Please, sit down. Look up. Take a very close look at me. Do I look like a fool to you? No. What makes you think I could go to Owale and tell him to use my son as a chief guard? Eh? Whatever I did, I did with a reason. And, and what reason is that? There was no time I had planned to have a wallet as a king, to reign forever. No. At the appointed time, I am going to retrieve the throne. It's a game plan. But in the interim, what I want to do is to have somebody I trust, who is intelligent, to be an insider, to monitor events. So when I strike, I strike with success. I thought of no other person to do that for me. Except you, because you are brainy. 
You are intelligent. <laughs> huh, Papa? Is that what you 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 you, you also begin to do? You are now getting the drift. You are now following. <laughs> if I'm Papa, you are a deaf man. Shut up, man. Is that a compliment or what? No, of course, Father. I, 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 I'm saying that you're smart. I mean, you're, you're generous. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, you we'll take it easy. Hmm? We'll go there. We'll reach there. All right. Okay. The Call generous. I sent for you. Uh, when did your husband uh, say they will come to pay your bride price? Uh, he said he, they haven't fixed the date yet, but he's coming tomorrow. Maybe that's what he's coming to tell us. Okay, okay. I said, let me point this out because um, it's not good to delay a good marriage that will come. Hmm? I know, Uncle. Right. Um, as soon as he gives us a date, I'll let you know. Why was your uncle calling you? Oh, he wanted to find out when Henry's people will be coming. Eh? And what did you tell him? I told him we've not fixed a date yet, but that when we do, we'll let him know. <sighs> okay. Where's Afam? <laughs> Afam? How would I know? Hmm? How would I know that? When I've become his enemy in this house, he hardly talks to me. So, my daughter, I don't know. When is the prince coming into the country? Tomorrow? Precisely tomorrow. Yes, and he said we have to be at the airport for 10 a.m. Yes. No, that means we all have to be here before 9 a.m. Yeah. Yes, but it'd also be better if I can actually come here earlier. Yes. And whoever comes here brings out the troops before they Of course, course. Uh, that, that's a good one. Um, so, you, you bring the drums, huh? Alright. Alright, um, again, um, Digwe gave me the sum of 20,000 naira and said uh, he will give us the remaining balance once we are done escorting his son. Oh, okay. That's good, that's good. <clears throat> okay, now, okay, guys, let's have some more beat before we chat for the day. All right. All right. But that is still subject to your confirmation. 24th is on a Friday. Exactly. Yeah. Why not on the 25th? Because people will definitely go to work on, on Friday. I think you have a point. 25th will just be perfect. 25th yeah. it is. <laughs> it's going to be on the 25th. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Papa is very fine. You know, he literally talks about you all the time. Oh, I miss him so much. <laughs> I know you would miss him. I can't wait for 25 minutes. <laughs> Are you fine? Oh. Harry! 
Come and eat. Because I know that very soon now you'll tell me you want to go home. <laughs> Your Highness, you worry so much. You worry so much. You know that anytime I'm here and I'm hungry, I'll definitely tell you. I know. But come and eat. I've had mine. It's yours. I'm watching my weight. I want to wear my wedding gown well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me enjoy my food and go on.
knew it. I knew your mother was evil right from the first time I saw her. How could she be wicked even to her own children? It is unbelievable. Huh? Hey, hey! I can never believe this. Huh? Uncle, Auntie, we don't want to live with her anymore. We want to stay and live here with you. You can stay with me as long as you want. But go over there. Let me give you rooms. Go and take over rooms. Oh, your father, Tony J. Go and occupy rooms here. Oh, your father, Tony J. She's evil. Wicked. I'm so tired of being. Day, but he won't pick my cover. Yeah, listen to me. You can't continue sitting down here all day long trying to call him, yet he's not picking your call. Huh? I would rather you 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 you, you put yourself together and forget about him. I can't. I love him, I can't. And if he loves you too, definitely he will come back for you. After all, what happened was not your fault. So why don't you put yourself together and stop crying? Huh? Please. He's so hmm? cute. I know. Hmm? I know you all. Hmm? Has it picked now? It's okay. It's okay. Good thing you don't make your heart work so. Bad thing you don't make your face smile. Make your face smile. On your piapo. On your pimpachi. And you be a boy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
had of X. You the Nikia mind happy. You the Nikia heart of X. You the Nikia face smile. You the 